In the last video, we saw how you cannot add numbers and strings together. But that is such a common thing to do that all too often we end up having to convert the number into a string so that we can add it to the string and so on. Something like this, which we had in the last video. We've got a number, then we want to put it inside the string so that we can show it to the user, and we have to convert it into a string first. This is quite annoying because it happens so often. So instead, we can use string formatting. So what I'm going to do is instead of printing UR plus the age, we're going to print F string. Now an F string is only something available in Python 3.6 and above. So make sure that you are using that version. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry, it will work in REPL8. And here we're going to do UR. And then inside a couple of curly braces, we're going to type age. Now we can delete this one here, and we can also delete this one there. And we can directly print the number 34 inside our string because of the way that F strings work. So in an F string, you type an F, then the quotation marks. And then inside the quotation marks, you can write these curly braces. And inside the curly brace, you can write your variable that you want to include inside your string. Let's look at another example. Here we've got a name, and then you've got a greeting, which is an F string. You see the F, then the quotation marks, and inside it you've got how are you, comma, space. Then you've got your curly braces, and inside there you've got the name variable. And at the end, you've got a question mark. If we print this greeting and then we run this, you'll see that how are you Jose gets printed out. There is a small problem with F strings, which isn't really a problem as much as a limitation, which is that if you change the name, say to Bob, and then you print greeting again, you'll see that how are you Jose gets printed out twice. That is because when we calculated this string, the name variable was Jose, and that is what the greeting string contains. The greeting string contains how are you Jose, and even if you change name, the greeting doesn't change. That is why Python has another way of formatting strings, which does allow for the changing of variables. So let's delete this and create a final greeting, which is how are you, and then just open and closing curly braces without uh, the name variable inside it, and notice that this is not an F string. Now we can do another variable that is final greeting dot format and pass in the name. So this is a little bit different from what we've been seeing up to now. What this does is it takes in this string here, how are you, comma, curly braces, question mark, and then it's going to run something called format inside it. And Format has these brackets at the end, which means it can accept a value, and the value it's accepting is the name. What this does is it takes the name and it replaces the curly braces by the value. So if we print Jose greeting, then you'll see the same thing as before. How are you, Jose? But now you can do something like Bob greeting and make it equal to final greeting dot format of the name Bob and then we can print that out. So as you can see, if we change the name to Bob, then this line actually looks exactly the same as the one above, but the name is changing. So what we've got here is essentially a template for a greeting, and we can then replace the values into it later on if we want. Inside final greeting here, you can also put name if you want. But because it's not an F string, Python isn't going to try to put your variable inside the string. You must do it yourself. But if you put this in there, what you have to do is final greeting dot format and now say name equal Jose. So what this does in Python is Python will know to look for the name thing inside curly braces and replace it by Jose. 
So this is a very important part of how Python works and we'll be looking at it in great detail as we go along. But the first part before the equal, Python will know that is this thing here. And the second part is what you want to put there instead. Now here comes the confusing part, which is that you have a variable called name. So really you can do name equal name. But these two refer to two completely different things. The first one, Python knows you refer to this thing here inside your greeting. And the second one after the equal, Python knows that you refer to your variable. Don't feel like you have to use this all the time, but it is there and you can use it if you want. One of the key benefits of doing something like this is that the template is now much more readable because it is obvious that you are going to print how are you and then somebody's name. In addition, it of course works if you change this variable name. Name, which is still being used inside the string, is now equal to friend underscore name, which is our variable. So this still works in the same way. Let's revert to that. And now remember that name is going to be replacing just the curly braces because we don't have anything inside them, which is when we need to say name equals something. Instead of creating a variable called Jose greeting, you can actually just put this inside the print function and that is totally fine as well. It's a little bit more confusing maybe, but it works in the same way. Usually you will be using F strings in Python just because they are shorter, they're more readable. You don't have to type like dot format and then brackets and then pass in things there. So F strings are the weapon of choice. But sometimes when you want to reuse a template, using format comes in handy. But that's it for this video. Hopefully I haven't confused you too much. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next.